What would happen if I spend 24 hours inside the flower garden? What kind of cool rewards can you even get from the flower garden? They also have a merchant over here with the new update, which you can buy like things such as plant seeds, uh, coin seeds, and stuff like that that you can use to plant inside of the garden. So I was determined to spend 24 whole entire hours inside of the garden to see what I could get. Currently, when you go up to the flower garden, there is no pop-ups. However, there is other seeds inside of the game that do not include things such as uh, the diamond plant seed, the potion, as well as the coin. Apparently, you can get things such as a gift plant seed, which gives you actual gifts. And I want to see if I can even get a huge pet or even a titanic. So let's the challenge begin. Alrighty, here we are. And oh my god, I forgot there is slots that we can buy. Okay, so we only have currently four slots, and every other slot is very expensive. So we're gonna have to begin with buying these guys over here in the corner since they're a lot cheaper to buy and then we can also go ahead and buy this one and this one so we're only missing one which costs 1.6 million well let's go ahead and begin planting before we go on the hunt for some gems so we can go ahead and do some coins or some diamonds i'm gonna actually do some diamonds first because i mean they're just the better ones but they do take a lot longer however the good thing is that you can actually water them and it makes it go much faster so let's go ahead and put things such as the coin ones in this one since they take like only 24 minutes as well as um i think what what is the other one that we have yeah the potion ones so they're also pretty good but i'm gonna go ahead and primarily do the coin ones so that we can just get the rewards why am i saying that is because right now if i were to do this one it would take me longer than doing any of the other ones so it's probably gonna be a lot more worth it if i just continue doing the coin ones for now just so we can get to that reward because if i did the diamond ones i mean we already know what we're getting same kind of with the coin ones but what if there's a reward that you cannot get till you actually finish it that's kind of the way they've had the dig site as well as like um the atlantis mode but here we go let's go and fill up the last one and nice so now they are all on a timer but as you guys can see right here there is an insta plant capsule now what this thing actually does i'll go ahead and show you first of all we need to get the heck out of here man so right here i have a bunch of the insta plant capsules and what they do they instantly grow a plant i don't know if that's either one plant or if it's like all of your plants but they do do that now there is another way you can get them other than the rewards which they are in here for certain tiers the other way you can get them is from the large gift bag and i actually have five of them let's go ahead quickly open the normal gift bags just like so see what good stuff do we get do we get anything actually good okay no we're just getting enchants and stuff like that Okay, let's go ahead and try the large gift bags. Come on, give me more than four and... Did we get anything? Come on, dude. There's no way we didn't get one. Are you serious? That is so unlucky. Okay, so while we wait for those plants to grow, what we can actually do is, one, we can... First of all, let's go ahead and open our seed bags. Right here, we have some seed bags that we can open and that basically just gives us some random seeds. We didn't get anything too good. But now I want to go all the way to the castle because we're going to go into the trading plaza and get some gems for that last slot. And here we go to the pro plaza. Okay, here we are in the plaza. And what what is Josh say? Hey, you snowman, man. What? What? What do you want? I don't know what that guy wants, but it looks like he wants to open some eggs. But let's go ahead and go to the top over here and sell some items, bro. Because we need to start making some gems. And I want to kind of start with some enchants. So Lucky Block books are going for around 460 to 500k. 
So I'm gonna go ahead go a little bit cheaper than that and I'll go ahead sell it for 450k just so we can get some gems coming in bro Okay, apparently this is like not where the interest is at So what I could do instead is sell some exclusive eggs I don't actually know how much they go for but let's just go ahead buy 10 real quick See how much I can sell them for hopefully we can get some decent deals on them I don't want to like obviously sell them too cheap or too high and if we go in our inventory okay so like 200k i'll go ahead and sell it for like 250k i think that is a decent price usually exclusive pets are always overpriced so let's go ahead and just do 250k a piece and see how many people buy them okay yeah we are actually getting purchases on these ones so we might as well continue look they are buying them let's go Dude, they are selling actually so fast. As soon as I list them, they are literally getting bots, bro. It doesn't take any time. Look, one, two, and there. It's gone, bro. It is getting purchased so quick. Wait, oh my god. Somebody actually got a huge bet out of one of them. And there we go. They've literally all been fully purchased. But there we go. Now we have 2.72 million gems, which is far more than enough. But I do want to go ahead and do a little checkup on my little uh, friendly seeds that are over here at the garden. So let's see. Can I even buy anything from the merchant yet? Okay, still can't use the merchant. But if we go to the flower garden over here, we will see that. How are they doing? Let's see. Oh, my God. They're actually growing. Wait, I didn't know they would actually grow. And wait, what? They're already? How did the timer go by so fast? Okay, I mean, let's go ahead and buy this slot, too. And then we can, like, go ahead and put a diamond in it. Because I think I did a diamond. And, yeah, it's only on an hour left. But let's go ahead and collect all of these seeds. How much coins does it actually give us? Oh, my God. That is terrible. Okay, the coin ones are pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Potions is pretty good. That's a decent amount of potions, but the coins are not it, Chief, bro. I think if I, like, collect all of them, how much is it gonna be in total? Only 400. Yeah, that wouldn't even last me, like, 10 seconds, bro. But let's continue planting more potion seeds, I guess, since, uh, I mean, the, the potions are pretty good, so I will take that for sure. And let's go ahead and take it through with every single one of these. And then we can begin watering them. All right. They have all been planted. And now we shall water every single one of them. And yeah, it makes the timer go much faster. I don't know how much faster to be exact. But it is much, much faster. Let's go ahead and put it on this one too. Let's go. Now it is going very fast. I want to try one of the Insta plant capsules. See what they do. So... Let's go ahead and click yes and select a plant to instantly grow. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one right here. Instantly grow this plant. And yeah, it just instantly grows it. How much gems do we get though? Okay, that's not that bad. 13,000 gems is actually not that bad of an amount. I'm not gonna lie. Then a few hours passed by. Okay, a little while has gone by since we last put this stuff in, but I don't think they are just finished yet. Now, what I want to do is actually go all the way back to places such as the Jungle Temple. The reason for this is because I want to get a thing such as the Golden Watering Can, which actually plants love gold. Apparently, I had no idea, bruh and grow faster and it also lasts one hour instead of 20 minutes which in it makes them grow faster as well as like a charm stone bro if you break open this it reveals a charm so that's also really cool and i really really want to get that golden um you know the watering can so let's go ahead just jump into this jungle lobby and just do it bro I absolutely hate obbies, but if there's one that I like, it is probably this one. Fun fact, this one's actually really easy to do. You can just hide on the sides like this, and the boulder won't even hit you, bro. Like, it is pretty easy to dodge this one. Like, look, I could probably stand right here, and look, I didn't even get touched. And then this last part is just a lot easier. You just have to dodge hitting the little axes unfortunately though we didn't get what we needed you can also do this in such areas such as the minefield i haven't really played this one 
like in a very long time because it's a little bit difficult but let's see can i just go in a straight line and unfortunately not we kind of lucked out man why did they make this so long okay let's go try on this way come on how far can we go straight up okay hey let's go we got this guy to do it with us yay i didn't know you could do this with other people but let's go my friend we must keep going <laughs> Oh my god, yes! We're able to go in a straight line! Come on, please! All the way to the end! No, bro! Come on, make it over the line, please! Come on, Mr. Titan Speaker, man! Let's go, my friend! You know how to do this! Alright, bro. I am not going past here! It's your pick, my friend! Let's let him pick, bro! You have to pick which way we go! Okay! Let's go, GG! Wait, what? Why was mine different? Wait, he beat me to the end, so he restarted the whole thing? Oh my god, bro. Are you serious? Oh my god, I finally did it myself. And no golden water can. The classic hobby also has it too. So let's see if we can maybe find it inside of here. Because by far, this is the easiest hobby that you can do. There we go, and no, unfortunately, still no watering can. Okay, let's go ahead and check the flowering garden. Hopefully, everything will be complete here now. And yeah, it looks like everything is ready. So let's go ahead and collect all of the potions. And we're getting some pretty sweet potions, bro. I can't even complain, bro. I will take it for sure. But let's get more of these. And ooh, we got a diamonds potion three. And last but not least, let's, of course, claim our diamonds right here. I am a little bit curious whether or not if I were to place a boost here, it would make the diamond speed a lot faster. But I don't actually have any more diamond seeds, so I can't quite test that out yet. But there we go. Let's just go ahead and water all of these. I really wish I had the watering thing, bro. It would probably help so much. And hopefully we can get it soon. And there we go. Time to wait even longer. We did also just get this bag of diamond award, which I will take for 5k diamond. And I almost have respect level 5 inside of the garden merchant, but I am still waiting till I can buy from it again. And in the meantime, let's go ahead, go back to the trading plaza and get in search for this golden uh, watering can if anybody even has it. Okay, here we are on the plaza. There's a lot of lucky blocks right here. Um... I'm looking through this stuff. Wait, there's a Series 2 uh, rare gift. That's pretty cool. This guy's selling an Insta Blade capsule for 40k. I don't know if I need it, dude. Okay, this guy has 20 coin plant seeds for 17.5k, bro. We have to cop that. But I'm looking through literally everything in the server, bro. And I don't think anybody has what we need. But let's go ahead and try checking out like a normal plaza or something. Because there's a good chance sometimes you can find stuff that you need in these. Wait, oh my god, no, bro. This person is selling a shiny or a golden shovel, bro. No, I need a golden watering can. Does, oh wait, let's see. Does anyone have a golden watering can? Let's see if anybody on the server has one. And that's when I found the guy who has the golden watering can. A current watering can, a normal one, is free and makes plants grow five times faster for 20 minutes. So how good would the golden one be that we are trading Amkaki um, for this one? And oh my god, he actually has it. Whoa! He said, can't believe it's you. Shout out to this guy, bro. I'm giving him 1 million gems for the golden watering can it might be a overpay and i know you guys are probably gonna say it is but there we go one million gems and i'm doing it for you guys but now that we have the golden watering can bro we should literally be uninstoppable so let's go all the way over here to the flower field bro and check out the massive difference this one makes and oh my god there's more rewards here that we can buy 
So let's just go ahead and buy all of these. Come on. Can we get level four? Oh, no. It's level five. Bro, I thought I only had to get to respect level four. Okay, no. We have to get to level five. So that's going to take forever. But let's go ahead and go into the flower garden. And everything should be finished. Yeah, everything we had here is complete. So let's go collect all of our potions, bro. Because, like, this is literally the easiest way to get potions in this game now. And there we go. Everything has been collected. So now let's go place down more potion seeds. Because that's the one that I really only care about. And let's just go and get a bunch of these guys down. And then we're going to water them to see how fast it goes. Also, this is such an amazing way to hold a watering can, bro. Look at this. Th there is nothing more professional than holding a watering can literally through its, like, a watering filter, bro. Comment down below if you hold your watering cans like this. But let's go ahead and water it. Let's see how fast it goes. And oh my gosh. Wait, that is going faster than usual. Hold up. Yeah, I think that goes faster than usual. I can't quite like change my watering can while I'm in here. But it is going faster. Like the seconds are going down quicker as well. I don't think it's much faster. It's probably like only 50% faster. But still, dude, that is going to save a lot of time. Here, this one, I'm going to go ahead and water with the other can. So I'm going to have to quickly change it out. Wait, actually, on second thought, I don't even know if I can change them out. Yeah, it does not let me change the watering can anymore. Well, if I can, I'll go ahead and put the side-by-side -side screen of, like, how fast it's actually going down. And this is going pretty fast. I would say it's going faster, arguably. So, yeah, it's definitely an upgrade. And look at just the water particles that are, like, gold coming out of it, bro. As you guys can see, I've gotten literally so many potions already. It said plus 56 or whatever. Like, the number was 56. So, we've gained 56 potions just from the last time we were in there. But let's go ahead and open more of our seed bags right here and see what kind of seeds we get. I don't think anything is new. There is still one more seed that I am trying to get called, like, a gift seed or something. I really want to find it because that might be what has like a huge pet in it or something. I have no idea how it works. Okay, this guy said that he has a gift seed that's in my server. So let's go ahead and send him a trade and see if he actually has one. Because I don't even know if how you even get it or if it's like rare or what, bro. Okay, the guy that said he has one like has left, bro. I don't even know where you went. Yeah, look, this is the seed that I'm talking about. I know I'm not tripping, bro. There is a gift seed and it's this one right here. I need to get that. Wait, let's see if this guy has it over here. He's selling a lot and no, bro. He only has potion and the coins. This thing must be, like, really hard to get if nobody has it. I did also actually want to go all the way here to the beach because right here, the daycare can give us some pretty cool rewards. And I don't know if we can get C's or not. And it looks like, no, you cannot. Okay, well, that's not that good. I mean, they nerfed the daycare super hard in the brand new update, so it's not even good. But let's go ahead and check up on our flower field or our garden, I guess, and see what we have. Wow, bro, everything finished so quick. That is actually insanely fast. Let's go ahead and collect every single one of these potions, bro. Easiest potions of my life. And yeah, let's go ahead and start planting everything back down because, you know, we, we want to get more stuff. And there we go. I've also watered all of them so that they grow much faster. Okay, I've literally spent so much time searching for a gift seed. And I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't even know if they even exist in the game. It says they do. And I've heard about it, but I have never seen one. Unless it's like extremely rare to get and I just haven't gotten it from all of the plant seeds that we've already placed and like all the plant bags that we've opened. If I'm really that unlucky, then maybe it does exist. But yeah, so far I'm gonna just continue growing all my plants. If you enjoyed this video, watch the video on the screen. It's one of my best videos yet and I promise you will enjoy it.
Okay, so I just found out that you can't actually even trade them. The gift seeds that are in the game, for some reason, they do not even pop up in the trading menu. Somebody that I was just about to trade from, as you can see, they have the seeds in their inventory. It is right there. But they, when they are actually in a trade with me, the seeds are nowhere to be found. They do not pop up at all. So they are currently literally untradeable. And the only way to get them is if you get it yourself.